my team says that this is 1235th day of my teachings. We take on the Zen stories, 47th on the Zen flesh, Zen bones, the stingy artist. Stingy artist means kanjus. <laughs> so this is a stingy artist. Artist means the person who does beautiful paintings. But this is a stingy artist, Kanjus artist. Gesen was an artist monk. See, there are artists are there. There are teachers. There are masters. There are politicians. There are doctors. There are engineers. But here you mean they are artist monk. A monk means who renounced. He doesn't have anything. He doesn't give anything. He just empty every time. Those are the karma yogis. And India has created the karma yogis. Here Gesen was an artist monk. When an artist becomes enlightened, when an artist becomes conscious, it is called gili gili art. When the cooks become a monk, they say, let thy food be thy medicine. Those are called the cooks who can make gili gili food. Let thy food be thy medicine. I thought it was only the Japanese girls who can do that. Japanese mothers can do. Spring, summer, autumn, winter, they can change according to that food. And then nobody falls sick. But when I came to my Indian villages, I found, yes, everybody knows. But the only thing is they don't go to the market to buy the vegetables. They don't go to the medical shop to take the medicines. It grows in their own yard. They just run outside into the open field. They pluck according to the season. They know what goes beautiful. Mm. Those are called the monks, karma yogis. Only a karma yogi teacher can teach the children because that teacher melts teacher and the student melts to become one and the child understands. But now we have coolie teachers, coolie engineers, coolie master, coolie doctors, coolie politicians, coolie sannyasis, coolie gurujis. When a guruji becomes a karma yogi, when an engineer becomes a karma yogi, you can see buildings are buildings. When summer comes, it becomes cold. When winter comes, it becomes hot. Yes, buildings are so much beautiful. It stands a thousand years of history. When doctors become karma yogis, you don't have to visit the doctor a second time. Yes. Doctors have got enough free time. Yes. Before you started drawing or painting, you always insisted upon being paid in advance and the fees were very high. He was known as a stingy artist. Like the hotel master. He was jumping and playing in the street with the children, carrying a sack when children come to give chocolates. He goes, sits on the top of the donkey and then he turns around Ulta and then rides the donkey and all the children laugh. He makes people laugh, children laugh. But everybody knows Hotei Master was the most intelligent person. And people go and ask him, please come and teach us something. He'll say, give me money first. <laughs> because he knows there is no need to teach these monkeys. Because they are not wanting to put it into practice. They are only trying to pickpocket. So what's the use of teaching? Better take the money. And then try to find out somebody who is suffering, I give them who can understand. Hence that money. This stingy artist also was asking for money in advance. Maybe he was another hotel master. He was known as a stingy artist, a geisha. A geisha means a prostitute. A geisha means a girl who entertains the Japanese businessmen and the rich richie to dance, song and sex. But even that prostitute has been created in such a beautiful way, not the street prostitutes, only for flesh. There, the geishas, the way they dress from the baby childhood, they sing, they dance, 
satisfying listening talking style the way they talk so much gone so most of the geishas are very rich because they have rich patrons powerful patrons kings and the rich rich businessmen are their patrons a geisha once gave me commission for a painting how much can you pay in quid guess it whatever you charge replied the girl but i want you to do the work in front of me so on a certain day gesen was called by the geisha she was holding a feast for a patron gesen with his fine brushwork did the painting when it was completed he asked the highest sum of his time the monk the artist monk was called by the geisha and asked I have got to satisfy my patrons. I call for a party. Can you draw? Gesen, the monk, artist, asked how much you can pay because he knows lavish spending, throwing the money, show off. Better take the money, the best I can, because only a artist monk can become the best in the world because his drawings are not drawings. He doesn't draw. A drawing happens of its own. It starts with our thinking. Answers flows with our thinking. Hence, that was the value. Geisha was forced to ah. Uh, call him but he said how much you will pay and she said whatever you ask and after the painting was over for the patrons he asked for the highest amount highest amount she got very angry all this artist wants is money his paintings are fine but his mind is dirty money has cost it to become muddy drawn by such a filthy mind his work is not fit to exhibit it is just about good enough for one of my petticoat petticoats removing her skirt she then asked gesen to do another picture on the back of her petticoat how much will you pay asked Ge gesen oh any amount answered the girl gesen named a fancy price painted the picture in the manner requested and went away <laughs> there what happened you know when the painting was finished she she he asked for a big amount and she gave him she wanted to teach the geisha wanted to teach the monk karma yogi monk a lesson so she said she removed her skirt and said draw it in my petticoat let me see you are a big artist no i can buy you just like cheap so gesen said how much you will pay me she said any amount and gesen painted and he asked for the highest amount she gave him gesen asked because a sanyasi's life is to take from the people who don't need that money people who don't value that money because people who when they take that much of money and dress up from the businessman there are so many people hungry struggling they cannot reach there so this money will either be stolen by somebody or lost so gesen asked the biggest money she was angry the materialist girl must have been very angry <laughs> like Nanjappa from Kurki came and he said Guruji all over Indranagar they have a culture in Indranagar only not everybody Indranagar residents association uncultured culture means very good but they have an uncultured behavior all their children i taught and then after teaching they spit on the masters because why you know all the children left them and went to america so that anger they are showing look at the binamgala slum constructed in indranagar beautifully beautiful building and now they are calling indranagar people indranagar uh, uh, binamgala people slum and spitting on them they are spitting on me that's indranagar residents association <laughs> run by a minority religious group yes they are thinking only the christian missionaries can run schools rakum cannot how could rakum run free schools it is impossible so better to destroy <laughs> so that culture is also involved in this manners so when nanjappa heard this one nanjappa said all this indranagar residents are coming and don't give anything to rakum school to rakum is uh, got so many vehicles he got so many things he is rich don't give him. so nanjappa came and told me guruji even if you have a dozen mercedes benz bmw 
piled in front of your school also i will come and continue to give you because i know you are non stop working <laughs> i have seen that yes at least nanjappa has got an eye to see he could feel it <laughs> yes like that we have so many nanjappa not a small minority who is trying to think only their community can do seva others cannot do seva <laughs> Gesen named a fancy prize painted. It was learned later that Gesen had these reasons for desiring money. A ravaging famine often visited this province. The rich would not help the poor, so Gesen had a secret warehouse unknown to anyone, which he kept filled with grains prepared for these emergencies. From his village to the national shrine, the road was in very poor condition, and many travelers suffered while traversing it. He decided to build a better road. His teachers passed away without realizing his wish built a temple and Gesen wished to complete this temple for him. After Gesen accomplished his three wishes, he threw away his brushes and artist materials and retiring to the mountains, never painted again. After that, they came to know, oh, this man, why he was charging so much? Because many times there is a, a massive problems, either rains, floods, People are suffering, they don't have food. So secretly he used to keep a beautiful warehouse where he used to store where all the rice, like Guruji used to store so much rice to give for Seva members, for people who are in need, etc. Like that, they, have to, they were storing, he was storing and storing without telling anybody. All the money what he got it. If he had not taken the money from the guest house, there could have been splurred and then another rich could have enjoyed it. You. Second thing you want to see the road was in very bad condition to reach up to the shrine. So he wanted to construct the road. The third one is before his master's death, master wanted to construct the temple, but master good and master died. So he kept these through promises. Yes. When you are good students, you was always think what is not completed, give a finishing touch. You have to be conscious. Look, he was conscious of the suffering outside. They were they understood Geshen has collected all the money and then he constructed the roads. He built a temple. He had already done enough for the poor when there is a problem. And once that is completed, he threw all the brushes. He went to the mountains. There's no, no, no more need to take money from anybody. They can see what I am doing. That body has got a magnetic power. When people go into that area of the temple and the road, they could feel all the diseases vanishing. You can do that because it is just a way of polishing your diamond. You are a diamond. Gesen was a diamond. <laughs>